From American Horror Story to 30 Rock in Broad City, he's got quite a list of TV credits, and he currently can be seen on HBO's Peabody Award-winning series, Somebody Somewhere. Here's a look. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Ma'am. Oh, my God, kids, right? I hope they hooked you up. You know what? They actually did. Good for them. I knew they had it in them. See, that's the children leading the way. Oh, no, 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 no. No, your money's no good here. Let's just take it. No, put it away. Come on, Joel. Come on. Put it All away. All right, if you insist. I insist. But I'm putting it into a fund for our friendship. <laughs> a friendship fund? Yes. <laughs> Fund, Dan. We're bankrupt. <laughs> We're poor. We don't, have a, we don't even have a friendship fund. God He's going to also perform at the New York Comedy Festival. Please welcome actor and comedian Jeff Hiller. Great to have you here, Jeff. Thank oh you. Gosh. It's wonderful to be okay, here. Okay, somewhere, some somebody somewhere <laughs> is a Peabody award-winning series. Just take that in for a second, huh? Oh, a Peabody. Yeah. We're classy. Uh, <laughs> Watch us. Was that when you launched the show? We like we're gonna win a Peabody. Oh, that was the exclusive that reason we're doing the show. <laughs> right? We don't even believe in telling stories. We just want the awards. <laughs> tell for those who don't know. Tell us a little bit about the show. What it's all about. The show is really about found family, but it's also about um, not giving up on yourself and mm. not and not saying, oh, I'm over 40, so I'm just going to pack it in and go to bed. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, so it's all about friends in Manhattan, Kansas. It's the little apple, like our big apple. Yeah. Oh, I see. And tell the folks at home about your character, because you're the character everybody loves. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, Hansel. Um, my character's name is Joel, and he is sort of uh, the friend that you everybody wants. Yeah, he's he's very supportive. He's very uh, warm. He's also gay. He's also Christian. He's he's a, a, a character you really haven't seen much on television, and um, I really like him. Yeah. It's yeah. like a, you want a Joel in your life. Yeah. Right? Do you have a friendship fund with anybody? Uh, it, that's funny. I improvised that line. Because, Did you really? Yes, because whenever my friends say that, I always fold the cash that I'm going to use and I put it in a pocket. And then the next time we go out for coffee, I'm, I treat. You're uh, a comic genius. Okay, that's actually really smart, too. Because I'm like, oh, good, I can spend the money on something else. <laughs> Uh, so talk to, to us about you and your story too, right? Born in Texas, yes. Moved to New York some years ago, and then you were just telling us in the break that you spent more time here than when you were in Texas. So yeah. obviously you like New York. I do like New York. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm the only one, but yeah. <laughs> but you know, was there an adjustment? Was it, we're talking about the transition, I guess. Oh well, I mean, I mean, I moved here. I moved here in June of 2001. Weird time to move to New York City, mm. um, and uh, I yeah, there is a big adjustment coming from Texas to you know there, people are very polite to your face there, but they talk bad about you behind your back. Uh -huh. But then here they talk they bad just, about you mean right to your face, <laughs> <laughs> right to your face, right. Cut to the chase. But you've had quite a journey. You've played roles in different shows, um, but then what would you consider your big break to be? Oh, this show, Somebody Somewhere, absolutely. Yeah? I mean, before that, I was playing waiters, and, you know, I'd, I'd be in lots of shows, but, you you know, for one episode. But this one is a, a real character that you get to understand and stuff. I mean, I've done Broadway and Shakespeare in the Park and things like that, too. But. Yeah, but I want to talk about your book, because it's Actress of a Certain Age, My 20-Year Trail to Overnight Success. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not out until the spring. Right. Uh, but talk about the, the, the journey to write the book as well. Um, it's Isn't it crazy that I wrote a book? I love it. <laughs> Aren't love you it. like, I really? Love the, I love you wrote the cover, book? by the way. Oh, the great. cover is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, I really worked hard for that shot. <laughs> yeah, it's just a book of essays about my life. And I, I've had sort of a weird journey to get where I am. And uh, my personal journey is very similar to the, the show, where it's yeah. like uh, I, I had a sort of midlife crisis at 40 and, uh, and realized I, I shouldn't give up. And um, so that's really what the, show, the book is about. But it's also funny. It's yeah. also funny. We you like are so funny. Um, <laughs> and this, speaking of funny, you, this Sunday you have a show. At I do. UCB Theater, up for the New York Comedy Festival. Yes, it's a, an hour of stand-up. It's funny. No political comedy. It's safe. We're just going to talk about fun things. <laughs> like? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Where do you draw, I guess, your inspiration for some of the comedy? Is it life experience? What do you tackle? It is. Honestly, my, my, my stand-up is really just sort of my own little therapy. I, yeah. I really, it's like processing all of the weird stuff that happens in life and yeah. making, it, making jokes about it. And then, like then it. you own it. 
Yeah. Do you kind of go off the cuff? Are you scripted or mostly? Well, I did or? spend 20 years performing improv for free in the basement of a grocery store, so <laughs> I decide to riff at once over <laughs> once in a while. Oh it's the only oh it's the only God. reason I can justify that long do you period of my life. Do you prefer stand up over scripted comedy? I love it all. The you nice do. thing about stand up is you don't have to wait for anybody else to talk. Well, but. yeah. <laughs> but the title of your special called Jeff Hiller is basic. Are you basic? Oh, I'm real basic. <laughs> If we out, if we go out for Thai food, I'm getting bad Thai. Thai. I got a picture of me <laughs> holding up the holding up the leaning tower of pizza. I'm right. basic. <laughs> the guy in the background doing the oh thing with the Eiffel Tower where you just made Exactly. <laughs> We're going to go get some Starbucks after this. I'm <laughs> so I'm going to spice lots. Is this the last season of... Some... This is oh, the last no. season. I know. It's disappointing. Well, what do you want to do next then? Oh, um, get paid. <laughs> so <Does> funny. Who <laughs> doesn't? Uh, good stuff. And congrats the on the best. show. Thank if you. people haven't checked it out, Somebody Somewhere on Sundays, HBO and Max. It's there streaming all of it. You can also check them out at New York Comedy Festival as well. But make sure you check out that show, too. It is hilarious. But bring a box of tissues because <laughs> you will be laughing mm -hmm. so hard you'll be in tears, sincerely. What was the co-star's name? Bridget Everett. She's amazing. She's too. amazing. Unbelievable. Did you, you knew each other before the show? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, we're, we've gotten much closer now. We live together while we shoot it, so... It's like bonding really? slash bondage. Oh, it's really good. That. <laughs> wow, that's another show. Oh, okay. <laughs>